On the left, we have the rare cannabis yogi, indigenous to the Silver Lake region of Los Angeles, California. Excuse me, I'm trying to zen. I'm trying to zen myself. This packing is so stressful. I thought Brian forbade such behavior. Brian thinks it's sexy that I'm a little naughty. Mm. Gross. Oh, you know, no. Now I can't even close my eyes without seeing this stupid lecherous face while he takes advantage of you. Give me that. You know, why are you taking any of this crap anyway? I thought the whole point of shacking up with a real life adult was to leave behind your childish ways. I love my inner child and I'm bringing her with me. This will look nice on the mantle. That is a meaningful sculpture and you know it. Ah uh, yes, the sentimental value of an enlarged replica of your ex-girlfriend's vagina shan't be lost on sensitive Brian. Just help me out, it's not like you've got anything better to do. Are you implying that my life has no meaning without you? And then I'm gonna slip into an abysmal depression simply because you're moving out? Because I beg to differ. Come on, the movers are coming tomorrow and I've got that teaching job interview. Teaching? Blech. Stop. Brian went out of his way to give me that interview and it is so far from ideal that it's on moving day. Could you just help me pack? Listen, I am trying to be cool about this. Oh, you are? Well, obviously, I'm meditating and everything. Yeah, well, I appreciate your effort. I'm pretty disappointed in how you're taking this. Please don't go! Don't go! Don't do it! Go! Pull yourself together. This is embarrassing even for you, Burns. Shame is for codependence. Seriously? Seriously. You don't think I'm freaking out about this? I'm moving in with my fiance. Now put on your big girl pants and be a fucking adult about this. Never! Buenos dias. God damn it, Rose, don't you ever leave. Yes. How's the sweater coming along? Very good. I booby tracked her cookware. Ay, Dios mío. Tú estás loca. Claro que sí. She's my best friend in the whole world, and I don't know what I'm going to do now that she's abandoning me. Get a life. You'll be fine. God, I'm going to miss her. Maybe this will be good for you. Just who the hell do you think you are? Rosa, we got to think of something to keep her here. I was thinking too small with the cookware. We gotta think of something bigger. What the hell was that? Oh my god! Go away! He's cute! You should keep him. No way, Jose! I don't do animals. Hey, Rosa, you don't happen to have some... Oh my god! What a cute little dog! I told her she should keep him. No, she should not. Uh, Rosa's so right. I'm totally keeping him. He looks like best friend material to me. Now, if you'll excuse us, it's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, oh my god, I'm so hungry. Let me just get my wallet. Besties only. Okay. One more day, and she's gonna get totally jealous of our super awesome bond, crack, and change her mind. Hey, I made a list of all the bills and I marked them on the calendar. Let me see 
such a good boy. He's such a good boy. First, the Wi-Fi password is here. Oh, I love you. Oh, buddy, you're the best. You're the best. Burns is really cute, but you cannot have a dog. I've turned over a new leaf. You have exactly one leaf that I'm incapable of caring for myself or anybody else leaf. Poor Rachel. What? Be jealous. Of what? Buddy, because I've moved on, and I'm learning how to be a better person. With him, I have replaced you. Wow, you are getting really weird. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to packing. Here's hoping your new friend doesn't have worms. It's making this weird noise. Now I will get to the interview, I promise. Just call me on your lunch break and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, love you. My car won't start, Brian is at a conference and I have my job interview in an hour. Are you sure that you want a teaching job? Yes! All right, let's <sighs> problem solve. Order a cab. Okay, yes, that's good. Yep. My phone is dead? B, I packed my charger. Give me your phone. What the fuck? Huh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Please tell me you did not disable my car. Um, I don't wanna lie to you. How many bong loads do you need to smoke before you become a decent human being? I haven't figured out the exact number. Burst. Just fuck you, Burns. Just fuck you. You know what? I am so sick of your manipulative bullshit. You are by far the most self-centered psychotic I have ever known. I used to think you were edgy, but now I realize you're just a sad wastoid that can't stand for anybody around you to be happy. A wastoid? You know what I can't stand? Hypocrisy? Someone in a futile pursuit of baby gap happiness? You are so full of shit. This has nothing to do with principles or ideals. This is about you clinging to the past. Hey, hey now, you be careful with that. Oh, be careful with it? You've had this bong ever since you and your prick ex-boyfriend smoked your birth all together and you have been clinging onto it like some talisman to justify your bitterness ever since. You hurt my bong, I will crush your vagina. Oh, Sophia, oh, I love you so oh, much. Oh, you're my lesbian so lover. You make me feel so kinetic. You're the most spirit so animal. And God, I have to hold on to your giant ugh. lady part because I'm marrying a man I don't love. I do too love Brian. Oh, bullshit. You just need to use your eggs before they expire. Yeah, and you're just jealous because I'm moving on and you're still not over Jason. I am so over him. I adeled his ass and I am living large off his dickery. That's why you cry like a baby every time somebody mentions the letter J. I hate your guts! I hate your guts more! You motherfucker! Movers? <laughs> Let's